Hello everyone and welcome back to another unboxing video. I just got my smart ass and sass box. Always funny, you know, like I'm kind of sassy, kind of a smart ass, you know. Anyways, I'll just call it the smart and sassy box because, you know, don't really want to get flagged for... I guess, uh, is ass a swear word? I don't even know anymore. When I was a kid, ass was a swear word. So, I'm just gonna go off that, I guess. Don't know if it's still considered a swear word. I mean, I don't know. Okay, so, we have, obviously, a little thank you card. You know, talks about Kind of just like, you know, how to look after, because there's a shirt in here There's like, how to look after your t-shirt, and like, kind of all about just the motto of this box, which is apparently, here comes trouble. You know, that's, that's kind of me. Okay, so this is all the prices. I'll keep that for the end. So we got a little like makeup bag and it's so cute. You should see my active bitch face because you know, people say like resting bitch face, you know? Yeah, I said Mitch instead of, you know, the B word. I'm trying to cut down on swearing. This box kind of has a little bit of swearing. It's really for like kind of more uh, mature audience, you know? It's something that I definitely would not have gotten when I was even a teenager. Like, I'm pretty sure my mom would have been like, no, you can just behave. You know, when you're an adult, you can make your own decisions. But when you're still under my roof, you need to act a bit more appropriately. Which is fine. Like, I'm a nice person usually because of it, so... Yeah, it's just like a nice little zip pouch. That's cute. I'm going to use that for like, you know, just whatever. Whatever little things I uh, kind of need. Ha! There's a little ceramic kind of, I don't even know, like pot or something. I mean, maybe shot glass? I, I would use it as, you could put dip in it. You could... If you got sake, you could drink sake from it. I, I don't know. I guess we'll find out what it is when we look later. But this, it says, here comes trouble. I'm like, that's, trouble's my middle name. Not really, but, you know, my parents kind of like to say that sometimes because I'm the rebel. You know, as much as people rebel in my family. I guess that's not true. People do. I just, I don't. Because I just don't. So, oh my god, this is hilarious. Because I always say, like, I'm just unapologetically me. Guess what this rollerball is called. Here, focus. Come on, focus. I don't know if it focused, but it says unapologetically me roll on. That's pretty funny. That's actually really funny. This is like, this is why I get boxes like this. Like synchronicity. Things just come together. It's just meant to be, you know. Washi tape. Ah, it's a little, it's a middle finger roll of tape that's, I don't know if I'm going to use this, but I could give it as like a gag present, you know, whatever, I mean, like, I'm an adult, it's just tape, but <laughs> that's a bit cheeky, but really, okay, let's see what the collectible sticky note post-it thing is. I don't take orders. I barely take suggestions. That is kind of me. Oh my god, that is kind of me. Oh my, god, my face looks really red. 
I think it's, I hope it's because I just spent a lot of time outside. Or maybe because like the pink, I don't, I don't know. Okay, well that's not going back there. But seriously, this is me. It's like, um, I don't take orders. I barely take suggestions. Like, you know, a little bit too much of a used to working for yourself syndrome. Yeah. So, demotivational pen set for the losers in your life. <laughs> the green one says you've already peaked. The blue one says everyone's judging you. Black says you're for sure getting fired. The, the I guess yellow is like that idea is garbage. And the white pen is <laughs> your face is weird. I don't think I would ever give these to anyone. Like, they're kind of terrible. <laughs> they're still really funny. I might give them to someone as, like, a gag present. Like, someone who's really, like, confident or something. Because, like, they might take it the wrong way. But it's also kind of hilarious. If, you know, you'd say this all with, like, sarcasm. Like, oh my god, you're for sure getting fired. Like, yeah, I would never say it seriously, but I think people from other generations might take it the wrong way, but maybe not generations, but some people might take it the wrong way. Okay, this little book, it's so cute. It's a little, what is it? Is it leather? Or is it like, it feels like it's not actual leather. Probably like fake leather or something. I have to check that on the sheet though. I don't know for sure. But there's like that little, here you can put like your little postcards or whatever. And it says, underestimate me. That'll be fun. <laughs> These are all things that I would totally, totally say. Oh my God, so bad. They know me. They know me. I mean, I don't say these things cause I'm a nice person. But I definitely think them sometimes. It's like, yeah, sure. And estimate me. Yeah, think because I'm nice and I'm not going to do anything. Yep, underestimate me. See how that works for you. That'll be hilarious. That's exactly something I would... I'm pretty sure I have said something like that. So, because apparently I'm smart and sassy. This box is practically made for me. Now what does the t-shirt say? Well-behaved women seldom make history. <sighs> Again, synchronicity. I'm pretty sure I posted something like this on my Instagram, like maybe a month or two ago. That's it's actually kind of funny, like that it would. Oh my god, I just scratched myself. Ow! But like. <laughs> this is such a shirt like today i wore like i have another shirt from them that's like a little bit of sunshine mixed with a hurricane and I'm like, yeah yeah that's that's a good line that that's that represents me aptly <laughs> anybody who knows me is like ooh, she seems nice but she's a little a little crazy sometimes you know good crazy like passionate crazy i blame it on the fact that i'm you know half italian half french we're very passionate people okay very passionate we speak with the hands we do what we want well not what we want but what we think is best we protest we strike we we are not afraid to cut the king's head off if we have to i mean metaphorically and literally in the French sense, because, you know, they got their king's head off. I think the Italians hung Mussolini. I don't know these things. Let's not get dark now. Regardless, I blame it on my roots. I blame it on my roots. Okay. 
So let's look at this little sheet here and it's going to tell me what is everything. Okay, so this little scent, which is clearly made for me because that's my saying, unapologetically me. How did they know? Creepers. They're like, I swear they were like watching me. No, I'm kidding. I'm not that paranoid. It's probably just a coincidence, but are there coincidences? I don't know. That's for you to decide. Um, basically, this is a custom scent. Awesome. Great. And it's valued at $6.95 US. I think these are all US pricing. Yeah, it is because it's an American box. So. I don't know how much that is Canadian. I don't have a calculator, so, you know. So I'm right, this was a shot glass, which is weird because it's like ceramic. And when I think of shot glass, I think of like shot glass, like shot glass up glass, you know, like the glass kind that you see in every bar around the world. I didn't know they made ceramic ones. But that's cool. I mean, I could, you could use it as a little pot. It's multi-use. I don't do a lot of shots anymore. I'm not crazy kids, so. You know, it's good to have. You never know. I'm a, you might one day. You might need it, but but yeah, I really don't. So I might use it for like dip or something. It's kind of cute, and it's like the right color. It goes with a lot of my other dishes and stuff for my new house. But that is eight dollars. That's pretty good. These little sticking out things. Did I put the sticky notes? I already lost them. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god, this is so embarrassing. There they are under the pens. Whatever. So these little post-its, because they're custom made, so they are valued at $3 basically custom post-its that's i didn't know that was a thing maybe i'll customize my own post-its who knows this little active witch face you know little pouch it's cotton with cotton lining so if you wanted to know and it's valued at 16 dollars I don't know if I pay sixteen dollars for it, but I mean it's kind of cute. Maybe, maybe I could see that. You know, and these pens, these de demotivational pens, as I throw them in the box. These are ten fifty. I could see that novelty stuff tends to be a little bit more expensive. Um, this finger in the air kind of tape is four fifty again. Novelty stuff tends to be expensive, but you know I wouldn't have bought it. But it's kind of cute. I could see giving it to someone as like a gift, you know, for fun. This book is faux leather. So I was right, it isn't real leather because it just it feels not like real leather. Um, and it's $15, which you know, for a, it's like a decent quality book. Like, eh, you know, it's like bound properly. It's not just like stuck together cheaply. So yeah, I could see that being 14 bucks, 15 bucks. So in total, because I don't have a calculator, let's try to do quick math. I, if I'm wrong, math people, you can comment below, subscribe and like, you know, let me know what the actual math is. But I'm pretty sure, let's go with seven plus three, 10, 10. So what, like 50, 60 bucks. And then the t-shirt. Don't know what the t-shirt's worth, but it's probably
probably worth like whatever 10 15 bucks so that's probably like a 65 70 dollar box i'm pretty sure you only pay like 40 dollars might be wrong might be a bit more with oh, it's probably like 50 bucks canadian yeah it's not the most value like usually you get a bit better high-end stuff but i mean you win some you lose some come on people baggers can't be choosers you get a box it's a surprise i don't know what to say you don't have to always like it then you just don't get that box again i don't i don't know i think it's kind of cute i don't have to go shopping so then i have lots of gifts to give my family and friends so i hope my family and friends are not watching all these videos because you might get some of this stuff and then you'll realize that i am not an amazing shopping elf i just kind of re-gift some things that i don't really won't use from these boxes but also like i'm like oh you know this person would really like that you know like I'm kind of thinking like, yeah, who could I give those presents to as like gag presents? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I know. Um, but, you know, I'm not going to say because then if they watch this, then they know what they're getting and that's no fun. Anyways, thank you for watching my unboxing. If you are still watching, you're an amazing person. You're an amazing fan. If you put up with like any ads watching, like that is great thank you for your support you don't have to watch them half the they should be skippable ads ads because i know not everyone wants to watch them i just have youtube premium so my favorite people just they get like a little bit of money even if i don't have to watch ads so that's an option for you people if you want that if not just skip the ads or watch them if you have time and you want to support me and they're not 10 minutes long because I saw an ad the other day that was literally 10 minutes long on like a YouTube video that was like five minutes and I'm like girl I want to support you but no and I know you can't pick the ads I know because I'm I'm new to this monetization thing I finally got monetized thank you all my followers thank you all my subscribers, thank you for liking and watching my videos a ridiculous amount. I am so grateful I am here because of you. You are amazing. I love you because you are clearly invested because you are still watching this. Maybe it's just my parents watching this. Maybe it's just creeps. Either way, I don't care. You took your time to watch my silly video where i talk about random things while i open a box so thank you truly from the bottom of my heart and like subscribe comment dislike if you don't like it like i'm okay with that i'm good with constructive criticism you know whatever you know i've had people be like can we use part of your clips and i'm like yes sure credit me of course just let me know what it it kind of is you know and entails that would be nice but sure i i am honored that people want to use my clips i i hope it's not negative if it is still like you took the time to take my video me someone who's not important i'm not famous i'm just some person right a normal person so sure go for it that's part of being on the internet yeah i don't know Anyways, I'm gonna stop before this video runs on for another five minutes while I just don't know what to say and talk randomly because that's what I'm best at. So, bye, thank you, like, dislike, comment, subscribe, click the little button, watch another video if you want. I don't know.
thank you for your support. You are awesome. Bye for now.